The Utah Jazz opening a stretch of four straight home games and nine of the next 12 at Vivint Smart Home Arena. The time to make a big run in the Western Conference standings and for another run at the playoffs is now. The Jazz hosting the Orlando Magic to open the second half of their NBA regular season. Orlando won the first meeting in Mexico City, showed up with intent to sweep the season series. They made seven of their first nine shots. Terrence Ross put them up 21. But it's the NBA. Every team makes a run. He's going to shoot it. Joe Ingles. Lead cut to 12 in the second half. Speaking of shooters, Kyle Korver. Three for me, none for you. 72-67. And how about Howell Neto starting tonight in place of the injured Ricky Rubio and Dante Exum. Takes a charge in a scrum. Momentum shifting play. Jazz ball after that. Jay Crowder to Rudy Gobert. Sharing is fun, isn't it? Three-point game. Then Neto to within one. Moments later, he's thieving on live television, and it's totally okay. Gives Utah their first lead of the game. As for the fourth quarter, well, that belonged to Donovan Mitchell. Trey Bien, Utah up two. A few minutes later, Mitchell one more time. This is your fault, Orlando. He had 16 points in the fourth quarter, 33 in the game, plus seven assists. And how about the dagger? Royce O'Neal, he had two points tonight. They were emphatic. Jazz win 106-93, a 34-point swing from trailing by 21 to winning by 13. You know, the first few minutes, that wasn't us. They came out ready. Uh, we weren't ready, and we bounced right back, man. And um, I'm proud of the way we all played. Everybody stepped up. And I'll give a credit to Raul Neto, man. Hasn't really played much all year. Came in, did his thing. Raul Neto did his thing today. Team is everything. The Jazz host the Lakers on Friday. Now, Utah State basketball enjoying home court domination of their own. Entering tonight, 7-0 in the spectrum for the first time in six years. The Aggies trying to make an 8-0, hosting a strong Fresno State team in conference play. Let's get right to it. Utah State leading 74-72. Final two minutes. Nemus Keda puts the Aggies up four, but Braxton Huggins could not be stopped. This three cut the lead to one. And then Huggins again with an absolute dagger in the spectrum. Five seconds to go. He scored 33, including those. Fresno State stuns the Aggies and Logan 78-77. The Aggies now 11-5 on the season. What a day for Dixie State University. The Trailblazers, true to mascot form, venturing up to Division I athletics in all sports beginning in the fall of 2020. In football, Dixie State will become a Division I FCS independent. A regional rivalry with Southern Utah awaits. All other sports will join the Western Athletic Conference with a four-year probationary status, meaning Dixie State can't compete in the postseason until 2024-25. An official announcement expected this Friday at 3 p.m. Now, one more basketball note. We told you Jashir Hardinet might transfer from right. BYU last night. A report surfaced. Well, apparently he's back. He was at practice today and available for the game for the Cougars tomorrow night. Cool. Okay. We'll be right back.